All I wanna do is create the Instagram video for the launch. In 2020, we set out on our biggest challenge yet. After two big live events in 2019, we decided to attempt a nationwide UK tour. To give you context into how big of a task this was, our first live event was in front of 400 people. Our next one was around 800 people. But for this tour in 2020, we were looking to sell around 2,500 tickets combined across the three venues. The idea of these live events is to have a variety of different and inspiring elements, from inspirational keynotes by industry leaders to surprising audience members to fun and games on stage with FG regulars. This tour was going to be epic. And it's fair to say that we started feeling early on that we bit off a bit more than we could chew. From figuring out the logistics of travel, accommodation and hospitality to coming up with new constant ideas to try and sell tickets to the huge financial risk of putting on this tour. So I'm currently signing the contracts for uh, the Aldrich Theatre. But as we all know, none of us could have predicted what would have happened. And just a few short weeks before the tour, a worldwide pandemic meant putting a halt to everything. Over that time, there was a lot of panic, a lot of worry, and a lot of uncertainty at Freshly Grounded. This was our first major boundary as a business, and being such a small team meant trying to figure it all out as we went along. But out of that darkness came some amazing new ventures. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Yusuf, a professional chef and graduate from culinary school. Current events, current events, current events. this is current events. And yet, with all of this wonderful growth that you helped us make, there was still, over the past two years, one itch that we were yet to scratch. Okay, that's really not a nice image. Anyway, back to sounding dramatic. So now, after two years of waiting, the tour is back. That's right, in February and March of 2022, we'll be putting on a live, freshly grounded show in Birmingham, Manchester, and finally, our flagship show in London's Aldwych Theatre. And tickets are on sale now. You can grab them by going to freshlygrounded.com forward slash tour. This is by far the riskiest thing we have ever done on a personal, logistical, and definitely financial level. And so we need your support now more than ever. And we know that the world is still in a state of uncertainty, but we're going to make sure that the event is as comfortable and safe for all attendees as possible. From working with venues to ensure hygiene standards are high, to making face masks mandatory for all of our staff and volunteers, and keeping an eye on government guidelines, we are not leaving any stone unturned. So join us just a few short weeks before Ramadan 2022 for our biggest project yet. Now onto this video. Throughout the lead up to our original tour planned in 2020, we filmed some of the things that were going on behind the scenes in preparation for the tour, not knowing how much significance this footage would later have. So, to get ourselves and you guys back in the mindset of the live tour, we will be releasing all of this unseen footage as a three-part documentary over the next three days. And here is part two. Um, Kareem's role for the show is he's this is his project. So Kareem runs like event managers on the day, as you guys know, and also kind of um, Kareem's day-to-day -day role in Fresh Grounded is that he takes care of like a lot of like um, the logistics in terms of finances and stuff like that. So anything that needs to be approved, pretty much, um, rather than going through me, needs to go through Kareem. Just tell me a little bit about your role in regards to the previous tour. I was surprised when I saw the tour being announced. Because uh, when you're not part of this, um, you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. I reached out to Faisal and, and I congratulated him. I said, Lama Barik, you know, um, anything that you need, if there's anything that I can help you with, obviously I'm miles away, thousands of miles away, um, I'm here. Uh, funny enough, he got back to me, he was like, I literally need your help. I literally have been stressing a bit lately because um, there's one role that I need for the event that I don't know who's going to was gonna take. Um, and that role was stage manager. That's someone that's gonna make sure that during the day, the, the, the show runs smoothly. 
Otherwise, we're not going to stop. We yeah. cannot. We cannot. Oh, it's already cool too. Yeah. Is it the show came out pretty nicely. Not not to my credit or anything like that. Uh, um, but yeah, that was our first experience working on Freshly Grounded together. Um, the dynamic, the chemistry was was good enough for him to want to trust me with something more. Um, and here we are now. We have to understand that the overall goal is to help others. And if the overall goal is to help others, we're going to have to be tough on each other and on ourselves sometimes. Um, and I think that if the, the best type of people are the people who are strict on themselves and easy on others. As a team, we need to be really strict on ourselves. Yes, Islamically as well. We need to all be better people Islamically because I think that um, when we are sinning, it could affect the team. That's something that's important to 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 to, to put in the context. With that, but however, even if you put the Islamic stuff to a side, just in terms of running a company and us freshly grounded becoming excellence, we have to when we're working in freshly grounded, um, be strict on ourselves in terms of like uh, any, anything and everything with regards to our um, uh, character, our persona, our work ethic, our discipline, um, and all that kind of stuff. And that's going to be more important now than ever for this tour because in this tour, all of us are going to be management kind of like we're going to be seen as the guys who are running the tour and so for that case um people are going to look at us without us realizing it if we have like a bit of a tantrum people are going to see if we're panicking people are going to see and that's a message to myself more than anyone um yusuf's role is hospitality and um uh, so this is managing the volunteers managing the so we could think about the, how we thought about last time was kareem was managing everything inside the venue yusuf was managing everything outside the venue so um volunteers coming in guests coming in on time people getting picked up this that the other food being arranged uh, people getting in their seats, this is all useful, and, and managing the volunteers. That hasn't really changed. The only thing is that your role has gone, become a bit bigger now that we're on tour. So there's things like our transport, things like hotels, things like food that we need to talk about um, uh, shortly. When I started practicing, I felt like slowly but surely people that I knew, people that were my friends, um, they're still my friends, but you, you, you start to like you don't relate as much uh, with certain things because you, you start to have different habits and then when Freshly Grounded came about and I was one of those who listened to Freshly Grounded from, from literally the first Freshly Grounded episode um, and I've been so passionate about Freshly Grounded because I just feel like they're my long lost friend that, that's literally what I felt like um, and, and I believe that it's like that for many other people uh, who also love their Dean as well uh, guys, we have a very special guest to bring to the stage. Um, you guys uh, may not recognize him, but he's someone who, uh, without him, uh, this wouldn't have been possible. And he's going to really hate you right now. Uh, would you still ask to come on stage, please? Oh. Please. <laughs> Just two seconds. Guys, Yusuf um, ran, uh, was one half of the team. Uh, Kareem's also managed Fresh Lugan today, so we had Yusuf and Kareem uh, manage the event. Um, Yusuf managed the first event we ever did, uh, Fresh Lugan 100. He had no experience in managing it, and uh, we put on, he, he managed to put on an amazing uh, performance with uh, the amazing team that we have here today as well. And uh, this time around, I said to him, Yusuf, I'm planning to do another one, but the Aldrich only has September 22nd available. And he said to me, uh, bro, um, that, I can't do that day because uh, it's my wedding the night before and I, my, I'm flying out on my honeymoon on that day, on September 22nd. And so um, we agreed that we weren't doing it, we went on without him and Yusuf then, maybe some weeks later, said, bro, uh, I'm going to do the event. And he managed this event, guys. We were at his wedding last night and, and he's going to leave with you guys now and he's going to be in Bali tomorrow morning. So my role on the tour is, I've got many roles, so I, for, first of all I started off uh, a fresh ground with um, being responsible for the volunteers. So that's my main role. So I'm responsible for the volunteers and everything that goes on on the night um, from, from um, going to the registration desk uh, to people being seated. Um, and also speakers um, in terms of the hospitality towards them. Um, have they got? Have they got water? Have they got any like drinks that they need? Have they got any food that they need? Um, making sure that all the volunteers have have, have their lunch time. They have their food. Um, but in this this scenario is a bit different because we're on a UK tour. Everything is much bigger. So the scale is a lot bit bigger, and there's a lot of, there's a lot more things that we need to take into consideration. Faisal's really busy, so we need. I need to take the burden off him. But there's, we've got hotels, 
we've got um, we've got to think about dinner uh, we need to think about moving speakers around and so on and so forth um, so this is one of the uh, so these are some of the roles that I do mm -hmm. yeah. so, so how Saf's role in the event is kind of a two-part role. Leading up to the tour, he's helping us with marketing, uh, which again, like I said, we've got a bit of a roadblock at, so we're going to have to kind of like nudge our heads together and figure out what we're going to do. Um, but on the day, it's going to be he's going to be the head brother. Yeah, so last time I wasn't involved in the marketing side of stuff, um, which obviously now I've got to take a different angle to things from. Last time, because I was just involved at a much more, uh, less committal level, I didn't really have much of an impact. Now, when you're involved in things like marketing, for example, you're quite responsible for things like ticket sales, making sure people are aware of the event. Um, and that's a much bigger problem to have, especially at this point in where we're kind of at with the development of the actual event, this time being a tour of three cities rather than just one big event in, in, in London. The worry is, instead of having X amount of people, a thousand people attend one event in London. What if we just have a thousand people split across three venues, across three cities? Um, and I think those kinds of challenges are things that we need to work out. Uh, luckily, there's a really strong team behind it. Um, and that's one of the things that we're currently working on now, making sure that we have enough people to fill every single venue across the whole tour. This is a form of entertainment where you gain knowledge, you gain inspiration, you gain entertainment, you have a good time, you have a laugh, you cry, because sometimes you hear someone's story is powerful. You can bring your missus, you can bring your boys, you can bring your girls. Everyone can have a good time and you're not sacrificing any of your morals. I think that, that those things don't exist because either if you go to an event like that, either you go to an event where it's like Islamic lectures, which are great, but sometimes you don't want to, you just want to go and have like a relaxed evening where you don't necessarily, you want to kind of sit back. But then the ultimate option is you have to give up a lot of your morals to go to something that's just pure entertainment. So where's the middle ground? That's the ground that we want to create. Otherwise, we'll see a few days after that. I think you need to consider it like if you're talking to them and then and postponing or rebook it for later days. Mm.